Writers, I'm Beth Cochran with Foodies Live. Welcome to Counterculture, the blog all about everything food and the unique culture that surrounds it. So last week I attended Tech Munch in New York, hosted by Bake Space, and it was just this amazing event filled with tons of um, just amazing bloggers doing great things, um, both online and off. Everything from food takedowns to no recipe cook-offs to underground supper clubs, just everything. It ran the gamut. Um, and I got to interview uh, Liza DeGia of foodcurated.com. She's just producing these really great in-depth and unique um, food documentaries. So she shared with us some, um, just her advice on getting started blogging, finding your voice and your passion, uncovering stories and doing research and just setting yourself apart. Um, so I'll flip it over to that interview and I'll meet you up on the flip side. a passion for storytelling and that's a lot of what really drove me to want to start this blog. Um, I looked online and no one was doing what I was doing. I mean you could find it maybe on television but as far as online goes no one was telling documentary stories on the internet and in New York it's so important for you to have a very special niche like a very special way to present something that's different only because it's such a competitive food market and I knew that I had something special since no one was doing it and I knew if I did a really good job um, I could um, create a name for myself in a very special way as far as covering food in New York City. My recommendation as far as personal experience goes is to Make sure you're really passionate about the topic you're covering and, you know, getting into something that no one's already covering. You know, like you gotta look for ideas and story ideas and characters and topics that traditional media isn't already covering. Because if you're gonna cover something somebody else is already covering, it's not new. It's not news. And what I really try to do with my videos is to cover things um, that are interesting and educational and that teach people something. Teach people something about um, being more local or um, eating more sustainably and, or how that process works or really dig deep into someone's like personal kitchen to see how they create things. And I think the more you dig deep and the more personal you get, um, the more it becomes interesting um, and not just on the surface. Uh, and I think you really have to, to be successful. I really think you have to create something special and unique and be independent of everybody else. I don't consider myself an expert on food, so I always look for things that I'm interested in learning. And I know, you know, I know a lot about food, but not everything. And I know if I want to dig deeper on something, a lot of people won't have known the process either. It's like when I did the rabbit farming story, or when I went to see how local tile fish are harvested by the fishermen. It's like, no one really gets to see that. And I knew if I was being really unique and um, you know, very thoughtful about the subject matter, um, I would be able to attract attention because, you know, what I really do is I, I create really awesome videos. I create awesome videos with really cool stories about food producers. The reason why my series is so successful is because I'm picking unique ideas and people are picking up the stories because no one else is covering it. So I think the more unique you are um, with picking your topics, you know, the more successful you're going to be at the end of the day. So don't just cover the new restaurants opening. You know, like, go behind the scenes. See the production process. Or, you know, find um, a character, you know, that's working for a mom and pop shop that has a really cool story. You know, just don't do, don't do something that everyone else is doing. Um, I think you really have to set yourself apart by being independent. Well, thank you to Liza again for sharing those tips, um, and I'll put those in the show notes as well as some links to her website, foodcurated.com, and TechMunch, so you can monitor when one might be sprouting up in your community. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.